everyone, Ken here with Ken's Creations and welcome to Ken's Creations Roadmap to Cricut Design Space. In this series of videos, we're gonna take a personal look at Cricut Design Space and all the different pieces that go into it that you can use to make the perfect project. So let's take a look at what today's installment is all about. For today's installment, we're going to take a look at the weld feature in Cricut Design Space. You can find the weld feature on the right-hand side of the screen under the Layers tab. Now the weld feature is going to take two separate items and once they're welded together, it will create one item. You're also able to create a welded look on your phrases too and also make sure you include shadows on both of these. It's a really cool thing that you're able to create a brand new design and also have a shadow for it. So let's go ahead and start with the first one which is taking the word love and welding it to the heart. So let's go and show you how you can create a new design using the love sentiment the heart, and the weld key. Now, when working in design space with weld, you're gonna notice these two items do not have a shadow currently. They actually do, but they're hidden. So we need to come over to our layers tab and click on the little eyeball with the line through it to show the shadow layers behind each piece. Now it's important when working with the weld feature that all items have to be ungrouped. You don't want to work with group items on the weld because it's going to then weld all of those grouped items together. So the first thing we need to do is we need to go ahead and ungroup both of the love and the heart. For right now, we can go ahead and move each of these items up and put these shadow layers off to the right for now. Now we're going to go ahead and position the heart where we would like it in comparison to the love. So I want my heart to be a little bit crooked off to the side here, and there we go. Once I found the area I like, I'm going to select the heart, and then hitting the shift key, I'm also going to select the love. Once I have both items selected, you're going to see that my weld feature now is an option. I'm gonna go ahead and select weld, and you're going to assume it with one color. So whatever color was on the bottom is the color it is going to assume. Because we essentially welded the top layer, which was the heart, onto the love, which was the bottom layer, and it assumed that color. Now we need to go ahead and create our shadow effect. So we're gonna go ahead and move the love and position it behind where we want it. And now we can go ahead and select the heart and position it behind that. And we're just gonna go ahead and line it up here. Once you have it exactly where you want it, we're gonna go ahead and select our first welded feature and move that out of the way temporarily. Now I can draw a box or I can right click on these items and hit weld on that. This is going to weld your shadow feature and now you have a new design both welded. Let's go ahead and bring the top layer back to the top by right clicking and hitting move to front. Now we can line up our top layer with our shadow layer exactly where we want it. And all we have to simply do now is draw a box around it and right click and hit group. Now you've created an entirely new design using the weld feature and you've created a shadow. It's that easy. Now let's take a look on how you can use the weld feature with text. Now let's see how you can use the weld feature using text. As you can see, I've already added a happy birthday sentiment into Cricut Design Space. Now I'm gonna show you how you can weld this together and also create a fun shadow for it. The first thing you wanna do is you wanna make sure you go to your edit tab and down below you're going to see something that says letter spacing. We're going to reduce the letter spacing until all of our letters are overlapping and we've achieved our desired look. So I think it looks good right about there. Now we have a decision to make whether we want this sentiment to have a shadow. In this case I do. So I'm going to go back to my layers tab and as you can see this font has a shadow feature. I'm gonna go ahead and click on the eyeball with the line through it, and that's gonna bring my shadow into play. 
So not only am I going to weld my actual font, I'm also going to weld its shadow. How we're going to do that is it's very important we need to ungroup this because when working with the weld feature, you need to make sure you're ungrouping your layers. I'm going to go ahead and right click and hit ungroup and I'm going to move my top layer out of the way while I work with my shadow. Here's my shadow. So all I need to simply do is draw a box around it and come up and hit the weld key. Now my shadow has been welded, but my top layer still needs to be welded. So I'm going to go ahead and select that option and hit the weld key. Now both of my layers have been welded. We can go ahead and bring the happy birthday back onto its shadow. And what's cool is now you have another choice. You can leave it as is and cut it this way. And all you would simply do is draw a box around it and right click and hit group. Another cool feature you can do is by ungrouping this, you can actually take the top layer and have it a little bit off kilter from the shadow layer. And it gives it kind of a nice 3D look using that shadow feature. You would simply draw a box around it and group that option. And now you have a fun 3D look for your sentiment. So that is how you would use the weld using text and how you can create a new image using the weld feature. As you can see, it gives you tons of options and really will take your designing to a new level. Well, I hope you learned something new in that installment of Ken's Creations Roadmap to Cricut Design Space. If you haven't seen all the videos in this series, make sure to click the playlist on your screen now. You'll be taken to the playlist with the collection of the entire Roadmap to Cricut Design Space videos. Also, if you haven't checked out my print to cut videos, make sure to click this playlist now. This will give you an inside look of how to calibrate your machine, update your firmware, and get your machine ready for print to cut. All right, thanks for watching today's video. Hope you guys have an amazing day. Thanks.